So, at the end of the last video, I kind of uh, said that we were about ready to move on, but we actually do have a few more quests that I completely forgot about uh, that we'll have to take care of first. Because if we don't, well, they'll be obsolete. So, remember this little place that we unlocked and never visited? The West Forest. Um, we can we actually could have done this mission a lot earlier. <clears throat> it's not uh, particularly difficult. You don't want to do it right away. The thieves are still the best quest to start with. But basically this is kind of like a boss rush and most of the bosses are a joke. Here's the level 1 sun magic. Just like Squall, it's multi-targeting. It'll hit every enemy at once. So yeah, the enemies are just a joke right now. Absolutely not a threat to us whatsoever. So the house in the middle of the forest. Who could ever live here? She only stops spinning if you actually click. Bye. <laughs> alright, alright, what do you want done? Four pets lost in the forest. Well, we saw a few encounters, but where were the pets? So I wonder how that song will end up after the uh, the actual localization. Because as you could tell, the song didn't really match up to the words. I'm guessing in the Japanese that's a lot better. But in the English translation, it's just a very odd moment. Okay, so these little squiggles right here are the pets. We gotta find all four, and uh, they won't chase after you. They just kind of do their own thing. You have to walk up to them and hit X. 
So I don't remember which ones are the scary ones and which ones aren't. <clears throat> so I might as well go out every time. Go all out every time. Single target, sleep. Nowhere near as dangerous as the uh, mass hypnosis stuff. So I think this is one of the stronger ones. Um, and it's not the strongest though. I can't imagine it will be alive for much longer. I want to save all my tech points until I come up against the uh, actually difficult one. Faceplant is caught. Okay, this is one of the joke ones. I'm pretty sure I'm fine if I just <laughs> normal attack. I, th I think I'm gonna be okay. So that fight you could pretty much do right off the bat. Okay, this is the third. Is this the rabbit? Yeah. Alice in Wonderland-esque. Oh, that's right. I forgot what happened to my other weapon. So clear Alice in Wonderland reference. There's a lot more of a, uh, I don't know what to call it, like storybook-esque. <clears throat> uh, sorry. Storybook-esque, uh, what is the word? Just feel. Atmosphere to, uh, some of the other games in the series. Notably Saga Frontier. Excuse me, dogs.
So power save um, is like one of those abilities that are bumps up your physical damage on the next turn. For most RPGs, those kind of moves are pretty much useless. There are some games that make good use of it though. But you know, especially the ones where it's just like, do two times the damage next turn. But then why not just do the same, the same move twice in a row for equivalent damage. Okay, so here we go. This is the big boss. So this giant sleepy dragon here won't actually wake up until a couple turns into the fight. I should have saved it break actually. I don't think it's much use. Okay, well decent damage. Oh, he's awake already. So it's not turns, I guess it's based on damage. So from now on he'll start doing uh, attacks. So I should save my magic actually. I might need it. That wasn't so bad. Miss, regrettably. Smash is one of those, uh... Well, I don't know if it's Smash specifically, honestly. I shouldn't say that, because I don't know for sure, but... I feel like... Smash has a smaller, uh... Hit rate than most other attacks. But that could just be that Wood doesn't have very good decks. Ineffectual shadows. Shadow, so. Oof. Poor Wood, he's getting the worst of it lately. Or Ward. <laughs> no! Okay, it's fine. He's back. Hmm, we're out. Really running low. Hopefully he doesn't have any more turns left in him. That could be it for Sarah. No, not yet. Does she really have that much HP already? Way to go. Ooh, here we go. Dimension cut, nice. So, that was really cool. Um, I believe when you spark an insta-kill tech, which is what... Excuse me, that's what that was, an insta-kill tech. I believe when you spark it, you have a 100% chance of uh, actually insta-killing. So that was a hell of a time to spark that. I 
I mean, he was on his last legs, I'm sure, but still. Pretty cool. That's why if you ever watch a speedrun of this game, <laughs> there's a specific point at which uh, speedrunners uh, have this this uh, tech that they force Herod to learn that will insta-kill a uh, whole crowd of enemies. It's pretty cool to watch. Mm, I would prefer cash. A rat called Algernon. Oh. So you're saying there's an evil rat named Algernon out in the wilderness. I'm sure that won't come back up. Let's get out of here. So, we haven't bought any uh, gear in a while. I was thinking of picking something up. It's because we stole this Lord armor off of Michael. I haven't really felt like we've needed it. I have soldier gear for them. But if our new friends here only have 24 and 27. I mean, I guess it's okay for now. I have that spirit we can go sell. Oh no, no, no! Shit. <laughs> I'm teleporting out of here, it's too dangerous. She's got me a second time. She talks to me a third time. Then I'll have no chance but to recruit her. Ooh, I think Wood is slow enough to actually... I'm pretty sure he can equip that. Uh, speed of 10. Yeah, so if my guess of 15 speed, I believe, is the max you can have, then he's the only character we have that can equip this. Sure, why not? And how's his weapon? Is it 18? It is. Oh, oh no shoes? There we go. Alright. That solved our armor problem. And if I get two uh, accessories, I can equip that on him as well. So the... The... Suits of armor are very good for the purpose of managing uh, magic defense because you know 30 defense is decent that's fine for a single character to have for physical defense and then uh, when you're running into a boss battle that specializes in magical attacks then you have three full slots left that you can just dump magic defense uh, shit on accessories like the headband for instance 
So it's very useful. I guess I'll sell that stuff actually. Oh, I already did. I wasn't paying attention. Do we need a new shield? Yeah, why not? It's only 300. 15 as well. I hope Sarah has a better weapon than 15. Oof. Well, that's why she hasn't been doing as much damage as everyone else. He has a knight shield? When did I give him that? Hang on a minute. I was too wrapped up on making the video itself. I forgot to play the game. Okay. So yeah, we're fine for now. I just wanted to make sure we were geared up for the next mission. So that Elgernon the rat thing was weird, huh? Well, for a completely unrelated reason, I think I'm going to go over to Kid Lanto now. I'm sure there's no evil rats over here, though. It seems quite pleasant. Hey, Mr. Mayor of the town, what's up with you? Oh. That's terrifying. Are you going to explain the whole sacrifice part, please, sir? No, I guess we'll just not talk about that. Oh! <laughs> you son of a bitch. Well, we're locked in. This is a pretty, uh, I can't go that way. <laughs> this is a pretty sizable dungeon if I remember right. It's not massive, but it's got a few rooms to it. Great job. So since I don't have anything really to talk about while we're exploring this dungeon, I'll talk about something that's kind of tangentially related to this game, but not as much related to this game as the other two Romancing Soccer games. But there's a little something called the ER, aka the Encounter Rate, and that is very important for the other two Romancing Soccer games. Uh oh, dead end. Um, because that decides the level that all the monsters are that you're encountering. And as such, the difficulty of the areas you're exploring. So the encounter rate is just how the game tracks how many encounters, how many monsters, you've uh, defeated. Or run away from, because it counts those too. In this game, it does buff up monsters in certain areas, although there's caps just like with the rest of the games. Like, there's um, there's a certain point where areas will stop beefing up the monsters. <laughs> so the earlier areas will still be easier at the end of the game, but they won't be as easy as they were in the late game. 
Um, so the point of this is, you know, if you grind in the early areas and you just keep grinding, you're going to be punished for that because when you move on to the later areas, you won't have the armor and weapons to keep up with the now terrifying enemies that you'll encounter. Stuff like that. Um, but in Romantic Saga 1, the encounter rate also tracked what quests were open to you. Just like when I was talking earlier, I might have mentioned how the Thieves quest changes depending on how many encounters you have. It's the same deal. Except in Romantic Saga 1, it's the entire game. It is like that. Oh, I made it already. I figured there were tre treasure chests there, but I never uh, saw... Treasure chests. <laughs> treasure chests. Uh, but I never saw any. So, uh, Creepy Cave has no music. I'm sure that's not foreboding at all. That's a lot more than one rat. So, uh, this is an interesting fight. Because, let me just show you, uh, <laughs> there are, how many are this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight bits of the horde that you're allowed to target. And the way this fight works is you will do zero damage to the actual rat horde if you attack any of the seven wrong spaces. You have to find the correct space to attack, or use a multi-targeting, screen-hitting move, like Sun... Uh, sun's... what the hell is it called? <laughs> Whatever, you know, the Squall. The Squall attack. Um, but... Uh, you can win this just by randomly attacking or using the screen-hitting moves. Although what you're supposed to actually do here is run the fuck away. Because without knowing, you know, with only having a 1 out of 8 chance of hitting the actual target, that fight is very, very difficult. If you guess wrong a lot. So what the game wants you to do is immediately you just run the fuck out of there and uh, get back to the entrance. You know, the one that was shut behind us. I was up there, wasn't it? I've been, as we're playing, I've been using the right, my right uh, monitor to uh, play the game with, <laughs> even though my main monitor is directly in front of me, but I keep looking over to the right to play the game. I don't know why. It's because I get the, I got the cool banner art on my right and left if I look over. Shit. Is the mayor having a change of heart? Oh no, it's Paul's girlfriend. Hey! We, we already had this conversation. Thanks, Nina. So we're going to have to have a talk with this uh, crazy scientist lady in the woods. Because that was a little more than one rat. We're going to need help. Wait, how the hell do I get out of here? <laughs> to the right. There we go. Did I really just run 
Did I really just full sprint into that? Sarah. Her damage output is much more commendable now that she has a weapon with twice the damage uh, as her previous weapon. I was wondering why she was lagging behind so much. You there! Halt! Rat poison? <laughs> you know what? Fair point. She is a genius, after all. So, yes, uh... What you're supposed to do, the way you're supposed to beat this, is by gaining the rat poison from the professor. Which will do a significant I mean wait no opposite of significant a minor amount of damage every turn but it will it's multi-targeting so it will show us at the start of every turn where exactly the rat that we're supposed to be targeting is so anyway back to that ER thing that I was talking about, the encounter rate. Um, because people who are jumping into Romantic Saga 1 and 2, maybe while waiting for the game to come out, which uh, is what, 15 days from now? 16? When's it come out? Uh, yeah, you're gonna need to know that information. Uh, basically, when you're playing, I went to the wrong place. When you're playing a Saga game, the basic idea is to avoid as many encounters as you possibly can. Because that will keep the encounter rate low. When you have the chance to grind, you know you can totally do that and you totally should. Whenever you run into a boss that you can't beat, you'll definitely need to take that time off to uh, grind yourself up. But for the quest's sake, if you want to see all the quests that the games can offer, you're going to want to avoid every enemy encounter you can. Which is why I'm just trained to do that. Even in Romancing Saga 3, where it's not needed. You don't actually really need to avoid encounters in Romancing Saga 3. Um, but I do it just because that's how I've been taught by this series. The series has kind of just molded me to do this. In this game, the only mission that really considers what your encounter rate is, is that Thieves mission. Where once you get your rate up a certain level, the Thieves stop appearing and regular enemies start appearing. Oh, which we never went into the Thieves cave itself, did we? We were supposed to do that right after. Wow. Yeah, we're a ways off before we can start our big grind. That was the whole reason of doing those missions. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, Mr. Blobman, sir. So here we are once more. <laughs> oh right. Yeah, I forgot about that. Whoops, I kind of did just completely skip that dialogue. So, um, shit, whoops. 
If you go back to town before coming back to the rats, you'll learn that as one of these sacrifices that the mayor keeps uh, throwing into the caves, Nina was chosen. And, uh, yeah. You're supposed to come back in here to save Nina. I completely forgot about that little plot point. <laughs> so yeah, we're here to save Nina. We're totally here for you, Nina. It's not like we didn't know you were here at all. Man, Paul would be pissed if we just killed off Nina. Okay, so for now, we don't know where we're supposed to be attacking, so it doesn't matter. Actually, how many will crack hit? Nah, I shouldn't risk it. Oh, there he is. I hit him. Random error, nice! So that's another multi-target. We should have learned that one a lot earlier. She typically learns that in her tutorial area. Nice. Okay. Weird. Um, I'm confused. Did I just find a way to break this mission on accident? <laughs> So, like I was explaining earlier... Oh, this is fucking weird. I never thought I'd have to deal with something like this. Um, like I was explaining earlier... Uh, you're only supposed to be able... You're only supposed to be looking for one specific area to attack. But apparently... I broke the game. Oh, no, 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 it's the other way around. That's what it is. That's what it is. I'm an idiot. Never mind. It's the area that doesn't take damage from the poison. Okay. I forgot how this works. So now it's the front one. So yeah, wherever you see the zero is where you want to attack. I said the exact opposite thing. There we go. When you get the epilepsy-inducing uh, screen flash, that's how you know you're you're really doing it. So the rat fever—that's the dangerous one. Yeah, you really want to be careful of that move. Time is certainly against you in this in this battle, so thank you for continuously missing, Word. Word, you son of a bitch. Oof. Sarah's about to die. Good work, you actually hit. Okay, top one. So thankfully in this mission, you know, they allow all of your moves to hit the back row. That definitely would have sucked if the game followed its usual rules and didn't let allow normal physical attacks to attack anywhere but the front two. God, that would make this boss battle just insufferable. Ooh. Yikes. We're losing our cool. Oh. Just in time. Just as planned. I wasn't scared. You must have been dreaming. I can't believe Nina's fucking dead. <laughs> Shut up. Can't you see I'm grieving about you? Smart.
So we saved the girl and the town. And they're gonna hang the mayor for his evil transgressions of throwing people into there. Actually, no, the mayor's still in charge. The real bad guys get away with their crimes. Alright, so that was, um, that was the Professor's Two Quests. Um, and now, we can, uh, we have two more quests that we're gonna do. Uh, we have the Thieves Guild place, not guild, this isn't an Elder Scrolls game. We have the Thieves Hideout that we can go purge and maybe find Paul while we're there. Who knows? And, uh... We have, um, one other mission that we can do. And then we'll be done with the early game stuff. And we'll do that next time.